Welcome back to my channel. If you do not know already, my name is Teacher Brett. I am a teacher at GoGo Go Kid, and today I wanna to talk to you guys about cancellations, something that nobody wants to talk about, but GoGo Go Kid has just updated their cancellation policies, so I wanna make sure that you get all the information that you need about that before you have to cancel a class, and it happens to all of us at one time or another, um, and we wanna avoid that as much as possible, but you wanna make sure that you know all of the policies beforehand. So let's get started. If you have not already done so, please subscribe down below to my channel so that you don't miss any more of uh, my content from GoGo Go Kid. This video is a brand contributor video, which means that it has been approved by the home office, so they have verified everything that I'm about to tell you in here. If you want to see the policy, you can head over to Freshdesk and read through the new policy that came out in today's weekly update. So to start off with, let's talk about what is a cancellation. There are several different finish types that you can have for a class. So when you go in and you teach a class and everything works out great and it's successful, it's going to be labeled as, as scheduled in your portal. But there are some other finish types that you may get in relation to cancellation. And these basically have to do with how far out you cancel. If you need to cancel a class, it is really, really, really important that you cancel as far out as possible. That gives GoGo Go Kid and the parent time to get the class rescheduled so that the student doesn't miss out on that class with the teacher. And it also makes you look a lot more professional the sooner that you can do it. If we're canceling last minute or just not showing up to class, it leaves a really bad taste in a parent's mouth. If you had an appointment at a doctor's office and you just didn't show up, the doctor just didn't show up, you would be upset. So we wanna avoid parents being upset. So cancel as far out in advance. Let's take a look at the different finish types that you could receive. The first cancellation finish type that you could receive is just called teacher cancellation. That is if you were able to cancel the class at least 24 hours before the scheduled start time. If you are able to cancel 24 hours before the scheduled start time, you are only going to receive a deduction of one point on your credit score. The next finish type that you could receive for a teacher cancellation is called teacher cancellation 24 hours. If you receive this finish type, that means you canceled the class somewhere between two and 24 hours before the scheduled start time. In that case, you're going to have a deduction of two points on your credit score. The next finish type that you could receive is teacher cancellation two hours. And this is if you have to cancel the class within two hours of the start time. In those cases, you're going to receive a deduction of three points on your credit score. Then we have the dreaded teacher no-show. This is when you just do not show up to class for whatever reason, you never made it into the classroom. This is not good. <laughs> we want to avoid this as much as possible because it leaves the students sitting there wondering, where's my teacher? What happened? If you get a teacher no-show finish type, you are going to receive a deduction of five points on your credit score. Now, in addition to the deduction in your credit score, you may also receive other penalties when you cancel classes. If you have six valid non-teaching issues within your six month contract, you may be terminated. Valid non-teaching issues include those finish types, teacher cancellation, teacher cancellation 24 hours, teacher cancellation two hours, and teacher no-show. Now, the nice thing about this is, GoGo Go Kid is gonna take a look at your calendar day, Beijing time day. And if you have one to three cancellations within that same day, they're only gonna count it as one towards that termination policy. If you have four or more within one day, it's gonna count as two towards that termination policy of six. Another thing you wanna be aware of as far as the cancellation policy is the monetary deductions you are going to get when you cancel a class. These deductions are going to be taken out of your incentive pay for the month. Your base pay will not be touched. 
Keep in mind that if you do not have enough incentive pay to cover the amount of deductions, they are going to roll over into the next month. So that means if you have $100 in deductions from canceling and you only have $50 in incentive pay for March, then in April, you're still gonna owe $50 of your incentive pay to pay off those deductions. So the amount of deductions are as follows. A teacher no-show is going to be a deduction of $10 per no-show. Teacher cancellation within two hours is going to give you a deduction of $8 per class. And a teacher cancellation 24 hours is going to give you a deduction of $2 per class. If you cancel outside of that 24-hour window, there will be no monetary deductions. Now, Go Go Kid understands that things come up. We all have lives, and sometimes there are things out of our control that it may happen and cause you to need to cancel a class. Don't worry, they have a process in place to cover you when that happens. So let's quickly go over what that process is. If you believe that your cancellation or no-show has a valid reason, please let GoGo Kid know as soon as possible. Within 48 hours, you need to email or send a ticket to GoGo Kid letting them know what happened. These may be things like sickness, accidents, death in the family, or a birth of a child. Any documentation that you can provide to them at that time will be extremely helpful in appeal. GoGo Kid will give you up to 30 days in order to get that documentation to them. Please note, you must communicate with them within 48 hours of any of those cancellations or no-shows. If you do not let them know within 48 hours, they will not look at your case for appeal. Once they receive your initial email or ticket letting them know what was going on and any documentation you provided, they'll let you know if they need anything else within that 30 days. If GoGo Kid deems that your case is justified and you had a reason to cancel your class, they'll invalidate those cancellations from your record and adjust any incurred penalties accordingly. If they find that it's not justified, those penalties will remain. You can head over to Freshdesk to see exactly what kind of documentation they are looking for. But this might be things like um, IT issues that you had, providing those screenshots that show the class ID and the time and day. It may be a sickness, so you can provide a doctor's note or some kind of medical bill to show that you were sick. Maybe it's just a flood or a natural disaster in your area. Any reports that you can provide showing the date and the location, Google Kid will be able to accept those as documentation. So let's review. If you need to cancel a class, you wanna do so as quickly as possible. The farther out you can cancel, the less penalties you're going to incur. To cancel class, you may incur penalties. This would include termination if you have too many cancellations that are not justified, or a monetary deduction depending on the type of cancellation that you have. But if you have a cancellation, don't worry. GoGo Kid has a policy in place to go through any documentation that you can provide them and invalidate any penalties that you may have incurred. If you have any questions about this, head over to Freshdesk, read through the policy yourself. I hope this video was helpful for you. I hope it gives you a quick idea of what this new cancellation policy looks like. And remember, we don't want to disappoint the parents or the students. So please, please, please think carefully before you cancel a class and cancel as soon as you are able to. Please subscribe down below so that you can get all the updated content from GoGo Kid and like, subscribe, comment, do all the things so that my kids think I am cool. See you next time. Bye teachers.